colorful volcanic breccia of some sort, made of different color uh, angular boulders of volcanic rock in an ashy matrix. And the best guess for what would create something like this is probably um, a type of volcanic eruption called a dome collapse, where there is in it basically a, an extrusion of some sort of thick lava. In this case, it looks like this might be a day site, which is a relatively silica rich uh, lava. It's got you know, these rectangular crystals of mineral sanidine, which is a potassium feldspar. It's got some biotites in there. And that's it. It's probably day site, maybe a rhyolite. And the white chunks here are pumice, actually. Uh, so that definitely means that this happened during an explosive eruption. Um, when you take a, maybe even, maybe that actually pushes it towards, maybe it's a rhyolite. When you have a rhyolite that erupts, um, it has often a lot of, of gases in it, uh, but the magma is too thick for the gas to escape. So it's sort of like, uh, I mean, numerically, it's a lot more viscous than, than peanut butter or, or tar. Or, and basically, this, this lava is so thick that you could build a house on it. Um, and the house would catch on fire, but it wouldn't sink into the lava because it's that thick. Uh, and so the bubbles can't escape. And so when it erupts, um, there's still a huge amount of pressure of gas inside. So it actually pops like popcorn um, to form uh, this frothy volcanic rock full of bubbles called pumice, uh, which is what those little white blobs were back there. Uh, but those little white blobs were mixed in with fine grain material or ash. Uh, volcanic ash is just what happens when the uh, volcanic rock does completely explode. So imagine popcorn that pops so violently that you just left with little tiny bits of powder at the end. Uh, that's what volcanic ash is. So ash and pumice together represent, uh, imply that we have a, a very explosive eruption of the type that most commonly happens with, with um, high silica magmas like rhyolite or dacite. Um, and so the fact that it also had those big blocks of volcanic rock mixed in, uh, that would form something called a block and ash flow tough. And, and those are characteristic of a dome collapse, where you have a big dome of this very thick volcanic lava that, uh, that doesn't really flow like a regular lava flow, you might think, but it sort of sticks up in the ground in a dome or spire. Uh, but eventually the, the, that big protrusion of um, uh, lava eventually usually cracks and then uh, falls apart. But when it falls apart, um, starts falling apart, that releases the pressure on the inside of the dome, um, which then allows it to, to start doing this sort of popcorn thing. So the outside of the dome probably was already cooled off a little bit maybe already some of its gas escaped, and that just gets broken up into those big blocks that we saw there. Uh, whereas the inside of the dome um, potentially could have a more violent eruption because it might still have more gas inside of it, and then make the, the popcorn-like pumice and the ash that then fills in the spaces between the blocks. So a pretty violent place to be 25 million years ago.